seems like I'm the only unemployed guy that's here. But yeah, lucky for me, I'm going to be employed under the Ministry of Health, so I can might as well just ask for a job right now from the honorable guest. But uh, when, I was, when I got the invitation later, I was told, oh no, there's the RDC Research Innovation, we're driving towards 2063, and now I have to think I have to write something about the future. Uh, but then I'll be an old guy in 2063, so I didn't exactly know what to expect, but it reminded me of something that I've always wanted and how my journey to becoming a doctor was. You see, when I was five, I wanted to become a soldier. But then I watched a movie and saw someone get shot in the face, so that motivated me to change my mind. To now want to be like my father, an accountant. But at 14, I had changed my mind once again and now wanted to be a doctor. Now, 10 years later, a doctor, I want to be a father. <laughs> Hopefully to a daughter, so I can be a knight in shining armor, my daughter. Innocent in her ways with a father that loves her and protects her from the world to the best I can. Hoping she never grows up so I can still carry her in my arms and put her up in my shoulders. But at the same time wishing she was old enough to say, hey dad, I made you a cup of coffee. Maybe her growth is something I cannot accept, escape, if I take care of my daughter. A reason that in two years, if I'm granted the opportunity to have a daughter, by the time I'm 63 and 63, she's going to be 36. And I wonder what she will have seen. The integrity of her father or the fragility of his character. One who hold out her mother for the sake of his own greed and passions, or one who loved his daughter, you see, I have a little niece. She's seven, eight, nine. I think her mother knows her age. <laughs> <laughs> but I looked at my little niece and wondered just how much I'm willing to burn just to see her smile, just to keep her warm. And now I finally understood why most men will, will strip my nation naked just to see their daughter smile, just so they can be called a good father. But how do you explain a good father to a daughter born of a rapist? Or the, or the chastity of a woman to a child born of a prostitute? You see, these are the effects of greed to our generations. And at 63, I wonder what my daughter is going to see. Because now was created by those that came before us. And now I am before her. And I wonder what she is going to think of me. Because I sit now and I blame those that came before me for my nakedness. Pointing fingers at their sons that you... Your father is the reason why my father suffered. And since it drips from your beard, you'll be the reason why my daughter suffers. And I wonder, maybe I should take things into my own hands to see my daughter, my vision. And I carry her with reason and a mother, my nation. And I pray with passion that by the time I'm 63, she will grow into this woman that I've always envisioned. That as I prepare the future for her, every thought, every book that I read, Every thought that I hold remains, remains a foundation that she will stand on. That every step I take outside, outside the house will be, every step I take outside the house is a meal on our table. That my back will break before she lifts a finger trying to carry herself. My daughter will not be hauled out to the nations. My daughter will not find herself worthless because of an absent father. The only time my daughter will have a hand out is when she's showing people the glory that has been bestowed upon her and not begging for her for green. You see, my daughter will not be fatherless. My daughter will grow into a woman. My daughter will live in a nation that I have built for her. A castle fit for a queen. A roof over her head to shield her from rain. My daughter will be proud of her father. My daughter will look at a picture of me now and smile and say, that's my dad. Because I, you, and we are the future's father. And it should and it should haunt us each day. And stop being complacent with the little form that she is in now that we can carry her in our arms. Knowing that she will grow to be a woman. And stop being so focused on the past her, the past mistakes, the failures, and focus on her now. Because her present is God's present and it should be here 
and know that now feeds into the future where she will become a woman. And she will say, that's my father. My father loved me. But then if God grants me a son, then I'll have to change this whole point. <laughs> Thank you very much.